Hey everyone, so in today's video I am starting up a new series. I am going to make art using mystery boxes that are sent to me from you guys. I'll give more details about the process later on in the video because I don't want the intro to be too long, but basically I get a mystery box from you guys, I make art out of what's inside the box, and then I send you a box of stuff back as a thank you, including the art that I make in the video. Some of the items they get would be exclusive items that no one else can get from me anywhere else. For example, I have this little kitty cat enamel pin. I also have a matching sticker set. There's an exclusive button pack. I'm also including an eight and a half by 11 print of my bakery art. You can get prints of that on Redbubble, but this is a special hollow version and you can't buy those hollow versions from me at this size. And then there's other stuff thrown in there as well, just like other buttons, other pins, things like that. Just a nice little thank you box because I would feel bad if you guys spent your money giving me art supplies and shipping it and you don't get anything in return. So that's why I figured I would send stuff back. So I received round one of mystery boxes from people and the first one is from Candice. All right, here's what the box looks like. I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. Okay, don't cut into the items. There's a lot of layers here though. Oh my goodness, I already see some awesome stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at all this. <laughs> Now I did say for people to include any promotional materials they might want to add, whether it's their own shop or like a family member shop, they can include anything like that. Candace Lamp, Nifty Ink, Art, Illustration, Design. There's her card. Bumble Bunny, baby! I love my buns, a Bumble Bunny, oh my goodness. That's so cute. We also have a little mushroom village. I love mushroom villages. <laughs> and we have a doggo in a hat. I think I slightly cut it when I cut the box open. Oh, I'm just trying to be careful. <laughs> and cute cactus family stickers. Oh, I like the packaging for this. Oh, and it has a business card inside too. Nice. That's a really cute product. <laughs> Dear Bailey, I am incredibly excited and weirdly nervous about sending you a mystery box. I absolutely can't wait to see you create something with these supplies. I know it will be incredible. I couldn't resist sending a few extra things along with the mystery items. I hope that's okay. You and your channels have been an inspiration to me for a long time. I started my own YouTube channel called Nifty Inc. and I love it. It has been so fun. I've sent you some custom stickers of mine as well as a few mini art prints. The Bumble Bunny one especially was inspired by Mr. Bun Bun. It's one of my favorites. Of course, I couldn't forget about the babes, so there are, are goodies for them too. Love, Candace. Aw. <laughs> I see some baby toys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Look at the little legs. And we have this one. A little mousy in a ball with some extra fun bits. They might like it with those left inside of it. <laughs> and then we have some wrapped items. Oh my goodness, this is fancy. <laughs> okay, number one. <gasps> Sharpies, Sharpie paint, water-based. Oh my God, I've never seen these before. Sharpie paint pens, yes. I'm trying to open it semi-nicely, but mm, it's not happening. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Master's Touch Drawing Pastels. These colors though, there's like pink, turquoise, woo. <laughs> it's actually very interesting. It's not just like a rainbow set. It's very specific. It's a very specific palette. I like that. Oh gosh, gel pens, metallic gel pens. Ooh, that's a cute case. Ooh, ooh. I like how so far this is stuff I don't typically use, so you guys get to see something new from me. And we have, oh, pastel pencils. Oil-free, long-lasting pigment. So are they similar to oil pastels or are they like chalk pastels? And then we have this one here. <laughs> Glue stick, oh gosh. I'm curious to see what this is about. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gave someone the example of gold foiling 
on Twitter the other day, they were asking about like what kinds of things they can send and if it can be crafty. And I said, it can be crafty to a certain extent, but I still want it to be predominantly a 2D piece of art. And I gave gold foil as an example of something that would be crafty yet 2D. Oh my goodness, that is gonna be fun. Mm -mm -mm. And a chamois, is that for the pastels? Or is it for this? Oh, well there they show a cloth. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's for the gilding thing or for the pastels. I guess just for whatever. <laughs> oh, and black, black drawing paper. Oh, that is cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Candice, thank you so much for sending this package. You went all out on this. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch the materials to see what they're like and that'll give me a better idea of what I can make with them. I suppose I don't really need to swatch the glue. <laughs> and the, the gilding, I'll, I'll do a little test later. But for now, I need to swatch these materials and I'm gonna swatch them on the black paper. It's just so nice. It feels like a crime to use one sheet for swatching. So first I'm gonna test the Sharpie paint pens because I'm really curious about those. Oh, that's fine tip. Ooh, that looks nice. That is so satisfying seeing that on the black paper. <laughs> Next up, I wanna try these guys. Oh, they are chalky. Wasn't sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna write, actually, I'm gonna go on this side of the paper because I'm left-handed, I'm gonna smudge it. Pastel pencil. I mean, you probably could've just written pencil. <laughs> Those show up nicely. Oh, this is gonna be so fun on the black paper. That purple though, look at that. Of course the black doesn't show up, but I thought I would swatch it anyway. <laughs> now let's try these ones. I'm just gonna write stick for these ones. <laughs> Ooh. I think these might both be the same white. It just gives you lots of white. Stick. This one also might be the same color twice. I'm not sure. That's all looking so cool so far. Now let's try the gel pens. Gel pen. All right, there are the swatches. I'm so excited. These look so good. Now it's time to brainstorm and think of what I'm gonna make with these supplies and with the gold foiling. So I actually started off by doing a digital illustration on my iPad in Procreate and I did the whole thing in color and then I recreated it traditionally here, which is what you're seeing. And I will include the digital illustration at the end of the video because I like the way it turned out. So I'll show that at the end so it doesn't totally spoil everything. But I figured I would go in with the chalk pastel and use that for the majority of the color and then use the gel pens and the Sharpie pens for some accents and to make the colors pop because they actually turned out to be a little bit brighter then the chalk pastels, because on my swatch page, the chalk pastels looked the most vibrant, but then once I actually started coloring, it was sort of the other way around. I think it's just because the colors start to all mix into each other, and once you blow on the paper to get rid of the excess chalk, it looks more dull as well. So I think that was a factor. Also, I learned at the beginning while doing this little demon guy that I should not press too hard with the chalk because the tooth of the paper will get flattened and then you can't get any color down and I quickly ran into that issue on his head and so the blue and yellow weren't very vibrant. So then on his body, I made sure to do the blue and yellow first and then add in some red and that seemed to work a lot better and make the colors a lot more vibrant. But yeah, the idea for the overall concept of this drawing is cyberpunk, which honestly I don't really know much about. All I know is it's this certain aesthetic where Usually you see characters in a city or somewhere dark and there's a bunch of neon lights and colors and things. And that was the inspiration for this because that's what the swatches looked like. I was looking at the swatch page and I'm like, this is giving me cyberpunk vibes. So that was the inspiration for the girl's design. That's why I did her hair in that style. And she has these blue glasses on her face. Well, they're not blue yet, but they will be. <laughs> Those glasses made me think of a cyberpunk look. I don't know. That was just what was that was the general the general inspiration i mean really the swatch page was the inspiration that made me think of cyberpunk but yeah you get it you get it 
Chalk pastels are very, very messy as you can see because I'm smudging it everywhere and I would use the little chamois to try to clean it up and make it look a little prettier. But man, that, that was tough, especially because it also gets all over your fingers. And then you go and grab the white chalk and you're getting color all over the white chalk. <laughs> One thing I will say about the little demon guy is he's supposed to have little angry eyebrows and I totally forgot to add them in. I realized when I was editing this, I put in my digital illustration at the end and I was like, oh my God, the eyebrows. I didn't add the eyebrows to the demon dude. Although he kind of looks cuter without him. I don't know. You be the judge at the end. You let me know. <laughs> but yes, for the girl's face, this was tragic because I colored it all and then I went to spray a little bit of fixative on it because... I didn't want to smudge her face because that's that's the area that has the most detail and it's hard to get detail with chalk pastel and so I thought okay her face is done let me spray it so I'm less likely to smudge it and um, hmm. <laughs> I sprayed a little too closely to the page and this happened it just dissolved the chalk pastel and at first I thought oh maybe it's just wet I just gotta wait a minute for this to dry and I waited a few minutes and nope it still looked the same all my values were just gone but at, <laughs> at least the uh, the gel pen and sharpie parts really popped which looked kind of cool but I had to go in and color the face a second time although I think it was worth it because it turned out better the second time so maybe it was a happy accident also, I really apologize. It's going to cut to a part where the hair is half done. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I'm still getting used to my new camera setup and ugh, it doesn't click like my old one did. If it was, if it wasn't recording after about 30 seconds, it'd make this huge clicking sound. And this one does not do that. So I got to be more careful. Anyway, let me talk about the mystery box thing for a minute. If this is the first you're hearing about it, Maybe you're just new to the channel or maybe you missed the alerts, but I tweeted about it I talked in the vlogs about it and I also made a post here on YouTube on my art channel About it like not a video just like a text post. I said hey, here's where you can enter It was a link it led you to raffle copter and that's what I use for all my giveaways so it functioned like a giveaway where people enter and then I pick names and those are the people who get to send me the mystery box. Then they get given a PO box address, which is a private one, it's not public, and they can send their packages there and then I will send the return package. So it functions like a giveaway. I had it open for two weeks and then I picked four names and all four people responded to me and I've received three out of four boxes already and so I'm going to be doing this in batches, so once I'm getting close to being through this batch, I will open up the giveaway again, and people can enter again, and so on and so forth. So they'll, they'll be in little batches like this. So right now, you cannot enter for the next round, but soon, in, in a couple months maybe. I also give a little info packet to the people who get chosen, just like a little document I wrote up with lots of the details. I'll give you most of the details here in this video as well, but if you're asking a lot of questions about it, you don't really need to know, I guess, unless you get chosen, but then if you want to back out, you totally can. But I'll give you some of the info right now anyway. Yes, it's open internationally. No, there is no set budget. All I ask is that people don't just send me like a piece of paper and a pencil, <laughs> like at least put some effort into it, but you don't have to go crazy. Like you can even give me secondhand art supplies. If you have something you don't use anymore and you want to send my way, go ahead. As long as there is enough of it left for me to create something with it, then that's totally fine. I also don't want super expensive art supplies. Don't be giving me the fancy artist quality. Just give me like the cheap stuff. Don't spend all your money on this because the shipping is going to cost a lot too. All I ask is that you send me everything I need to create an illustration. So I need the paper and the tool that makes the mark on the paper, just that kind of thing. And you don't have to send me a whole pad of paper like Candace did. I, I put in my write-up that you could send me just a few sheets if you want and that way you could keep the rest of it for yourself. So that way it's also not so much money for you. Or you maybe you already have a pad of paper that you want to send me and you can just off three or four sheets and include them in the box. Like I said before, people are free to include any samples of art they sell or just any general promotion for their own shop or even like a friend's shop, just anything like that. I do also have one more rule that I forgot to include in my write-up, so if any of the following or the next three people break this rule, that's okay because I forgot to include it, but I have a rule of no food. It's just a safety thing. I don't want to be gifted any kind of food. That's the same rule I now apply at conventions as well. 
I also don't want the packages to get too crafty. Like I don't mind collage type elements. The foil in this was perfect, but I don't want to be sent supplies to say crochet or needle felt or something like that. I want it to be like a drawing or painting type of supplies. Side note, this is not proper application of the gold foil. You're not supposed to touch it and you're supposed to brush it on with a paintbrush, but I was just sticking to my rule of using what is included in the box. And then after I've opened your box and created art using your supplies, I send you the thank you box back featuring the art supplies I showed, or not art supplies, the, the things I showed you at the beginning of the video, as well as the art I create using your supplies. So Candace will get this little demon drawing and all that stuff I showed at the beginning. Well, except the enamel pins, uh, you get to pick which ones you want. So I'll include the little cat that's exclusive to the box and then the people can choose what other two pins they want. Also, the goodies are subject to change. They're not always gonna be exactly the same ones you saw at the start of this video. Like maybe the sticker sheets will be changed out or who knows. Here's what the final artwork looks like. It was definitely a challenge working with those pastels, but it was so fun. I loved the colors on the black paper. I love the way it pops. And I love that I got to try out the gold foiling for the first time. So thank you so, so much, Candace, for sending me this amazing box and keep an eye out for your return package. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm making it into a series and it's gonna be one of my main ones alongside the self-improvement series. Those are the ones you're gonna be seeing the most of. Also, here is the digital version of the drawing. I think it looks a little better because it's cleaner and brighter, but I actually like the little demon guy's face better on the traditional one. I just did bigger eyes, bigger teeth, and I thought that looked so cute. Also, here's some footage of my cats playing with the toys that were included in the box. I just I had to, I had to. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.